Hello everybody and welcome to the next Stellaris episode as the Avarian Holy Council. Again, I am recording this before I've tallied up the experience points for this last week. So just keep that in mind. But continue adding those experience points. Hopefully I'll have something um, soon that'll be worth investing those experience points into. Anyway, we are, are continuing our war against the Pyrrhic Nation and, I mean... By association, the Dormama, the Dormana League. But the Dormana League, honestly, what will probably happen after we Our vassalize? Champions have secured a heathen planet. What will probably happen after we vassalize the um, Dormana League is that we will end up. We need to stop these guys. Like, what are they doing? Go Conqueror Fleet. Um, what'll probably end up happening is that once we vassalize the Pyrrhic Nation and integrate them, um, we will pretty much, um, well, hey guys, I guess you go get, get to go deal with that. The Pyrrhic are being really annoying. The pro this is the problem about waging large scale war across, um, a huge nation. <laughs> ah ha ha. Yeah, it won't be long until we achieve our war goals, so. We might have to rough up the Dormana a little bit, but I think we'll we'll be okay. Clan are crafting a lot of gateways. I don't even have, like, everyone fighting, which is hilarious. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Did we get oh kinetic weapon attack speed nice uh there's no way for the dormana to enter there they would have to pass through the light being concerned and in order for them to deal with us here they would have to pass through here so we pretty much have them at this point with relative ease The spirits have granted us new wisdom. So far, not bad. You guys have a 3k army? What the heck? Why are my vassals so strong? I guess my vassals are strong because I am strong. So that's basically what this boils down to. Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. And we have a Lipian going after a Pyrrhic. Mm -hmm. 
We should have Pyrrhic in our uh, empire, don't we? Wow, we're getting a lot of different cop events. Our champions have secured a heathen planet. Our champions have secured a heathen planet. Good job, guys. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by all the species. Why do we have so many ithals, is what I want to know. Like, is there a reason for this many ithals? I don't know where the Juvan were from, but... They're kind of cool. Oh, these guys are species without a home planet. Oh, so they prefer habitats. Do we seriously not have Pyrrhic? Well, we'll have Pyrrhic after this, I suppose. That's a bit surprising, if I'm being honest. Who are the Skrek? I didn't even know about these guys. They're just bugs. I assume they must be a vassal. Oh. Interesting, so okay. Sorry, I was I was getting distracted by me vassals. Um Have we taken... We have not taken anything on Bogar. I mean, as far as I can tell, we really only have to conquer a couple more and then we're set. So here's going to be the problem. We're going to have a giant vassal that's going to take forever to integrate. Um, and the mid-game crisis is going to happen soon. So we might have to uh, help out our friends... And by friends, I mean we might have to help out the people that we, uh, vassalize. Fine, Bruvan. Oh, I see. It's because we lost that large army. But now they're back, so... And they're only 20%. Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. I would think that these guys would be able to do it, but you never know. Jeez, this place has a lot of unemployment. Is it because they haven't built stuff? It's because they haven't built stuff. Is every, why are all of them so far behind in building? Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them.
I guess I shouldn't judge them too harshly. It's not like they have the resources that we do, but still. Our champions have secured a heathen planet. That's the entirety of the Pyrrhic, so... Our Tem champions have secured a heathen planet. What is this? Oh, this is something I support. So it's gonna pass because... You know, I am Our a Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. Hello, Pyrrhic, and welcome to- The spirits to... have granted us new wisdom. Wait, I'm confused. And we have won the war. I am just gonna be prepared. I'm pretty sure one of these fallen empires is going to go to war soon, and that'll be the mid-game crisis. But hey, guys, we did it. We won. We um, managed to um, wait, what? Why would I oppose that? Part of that's the reason I have such high diplomatic weight. All right, so the Dormana League, we can now improve relations with. We thought that the Romano League was going to become our vassal anyway, so this works out. Alright, so the Prosnoskins ended up being useful. Thanks, guys. Sorry that I have uh, boxed you in so much, but on the upside, you know, you'll be integrated eventually. When? I actually don't know, but eventually. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the Lyping Concern is integrating a little too much, and I don't like it. Um, I actually want to send you guys back here. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I'm gonna have to front. Oh, 
a large amount of forces. Which is unfortunate. Alright, well, as long as we're waiting on the mid-game crisis, why don't we? Well, obviously we need to upgrade, but... Oh, so this apparently needs a signed a sector? I thought I signed all these sectors. I guess I didn't assign these sectors. Thought I had, but that's weird. What should I do? Food processing facilities would be good. I still have plenty of jobs, but really low on nothing really there, so that's fine. I hope we find some place that we can get nanites from. I'm sure the mid-game crisis is going to happen soon. Incoming transmission. I'm surprised like we hadn't had that established yet anyway.
And that takes care of all that. Cool. Now I better go all the way down and there's another building that's ready to be built, right? The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I mean, the space whales killed him. Cool. Thanks, space whales. You guys did good. just happened. How am I losing a whole K? The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Then I can sell a whole bunch of stuff to make up for it. Um, there's only one 15500, so we might as well do it. What are you guys doing? You're not patrolling? That's a little impressive, actually. Okay, good. The Pyrrhic are now building up their forces. They are also building gateways, which is good for us. Uh, do we have a signed ship somewhere nearby? Bet I have one here, right? No. Please go explore that natural wormhole. Would be good to know where they all go. Judging by the fact that the Ithil... Actually, no, where, where does it go? Maybe here? But the Ithil Confederation of Sons wouldn't have been able to go that way, so... Maybe not? I like how the Ithil Confederation of Sons just is like, Okay, well, we're done. We have, what, two places here that we can build habitats? Three, technically. Might as well, right?
I feel like I should have been building more habitats instead of waiting till the end to do so. Oh, we got natural beauty. Wait, what? Um... The spirits have granted us new wisdom. We have so much housing. Are people leaving though? They are. Okay, so people will end up moving if they have places to move to. The problem is, I think, like, there's not... There's not places for my people to move to. Luxury residences yet? No, darn. I guess we're doing luxury residences. Oh, we can't yet. I didn't realize, like, 
the auto forge gave so much. Man, we're still suffering, even though. Aha! So there are upgrades that we need to do. Also, I have no idea why, but rare crystals are going down. I guess because a lot of things use rare crystals. What happened? It goes to where? Ah. I see. Well, that's certainly interesting. I feel like as the Avarian Holy Council, we don't we're not as big as some of the other places system-wise, well we actually might be. Hold up. No, I don't think we are actually. Well, maybe. No, I think we are. I think we are as big. I think we're bigger than some of the other places. All shall be unified via the worm. Who loves us and always has and always will. I'm sure people are leaving, right? Nope. Ah, people are leaving. Wait, we have no governor here? have high quality minerals and art monument exhibited ah okay I see explain why we were losing so many rare crystals. Like, everything takes rare crystals. It's insane.
All right. We're ready for the Miravandiga Chroniclers, and we're kind of ready for the. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Kesem Forerunners, whoever decides they want to be the one to declare war. I feel like our edict duration is just going for so long. I like the one foothold that the Pyrrhic Nation has here, it's kind of funny. And the Ithil Confederated Sons are just like, yeah, we'll just chill here. Alright, so that basic, this is a large chunk of the galaxy that we're about to get once we start integrating. Alright, so the Union of Ithi... Oh, it's trying to wipe out the Citizen Alliance of Ethleen, I just realized. I still have all these guys ready. If I need them. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I'm really confused as to how the more we actually get repeatable tech, the more energy we're losing. Is it because of our vassals? No. Alright. So here's going to be the frustrating thing if we go to war with the Bacada now. And even the Bruvan. Is that the Union of Ithi is going to be... trying to defend them. Hundred and twenty nine months, so just a little over ten years and they'll be integrated. The distance is apparently still too great. Mm -hmm. 
maybe they go to war with each other. We need to thin down the Urzo too is the only problem because they they have Well actually if the Urzo go to war If the Urzo go to war with the Union of Ithi, that would help us greatly. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Situation log updated. Now let's see, we could wipe out the clan if we wanted to. and 35 artifacts. I do want to know how we broke up this Sin Alliance of Ethelene so much. actually have to deal with the Union of Ithi. Is this still war going on? There is. Who are they fighting? Oh. Oh. That would explain why the, we have no Zulaku. They're a hive mind, so...
The uh, United Tarasi planets are becoming a bit too expansive, shall we say. <laughs> I'm literally just waiting for the... the mid-game crisis to occur which I guess I could speed up but could replace this now. We have plenty of uh, robots, shall we say. Same thing here, actually. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I'm confused. Did I really just like make this many robot areas? Oh, it's okay if the robots are unemployed because they don't get upset. Literally everything uses rare crystals. I guess we are doing crystal plants. At every available building, pretty much. Thank you. 
I need more energy mining in addition to mineral mining. Do, do, do. Special project complete. Cool. I'm actually going to move you over here. Just in case the Miravandia Chronicles. Oh no, the Lipian Concern is not a fallen empire. They just look like that. Okay, cool. So then we should have Pyrrhic now for species, right? Unless they won't really count until we integrate them. Spirits have granted us new wisdom. I guess they won't really count until we integrate them. I was gonna say they can only be servants, right? Prime Minister. I'm sure it'll be just be wings of yellow again. Hmm. We need to sacrifice more ships in our next war. Which uh, should easily happen once the fallen empires go to war. I almost wonder I should have these guys here it'll probably be the Miravandia chroniclers Let's see they're keepers of knowledge do you have a reason to be disturbing us?
The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I just like how Wings of Yellow basically is like, oh, I got most of the party anyway, so it's whatever. He. <laughs> It mirrors actual politics. I I should make sure that no. I don't think there's any more robot ascent. Oh, there is one. Let me just replace with houses. I mean, we basically have to replace any place that has robot pops with luxury residences at this point. Um, we have no governor here. That's weird. Alright, we're going to end this here, and then we will um, see you guys on the next episode, so thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!